I'm so excited. That was real crazy. But I am really excited though. Can you tell? <coughs> this is what happens when I do eye looks that I'm like, uh, yeah, it's nice. And then I do a look and I'm like, I love it. So this was the, yeah, this is as good as it's going to get. And this is the, I'm so excited. Look at this. Mm. Okay. I'm really done. Welcome to the crazy. Click subscribe. Thank you. Hey, you guys. Welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. I know my foundation is looking a little light. I am like completely like full tan right now. <laughs> and I'm still using the Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G60, which I can wear all year round because it nails my undertone. However, when I am tan, like look at this. See this matches that. <laughs> so this is this this is my perfect match. But with a tan, I have to be sure to put on bronzer. And I only put um a bronzing shade like here and under my chin and so anyway so actually let me I don't know if I should do this right now because I am sweating a little bit so I don't know what's going to happen I'm just trying to get some of this sweat off my face I'm going to take the Fenty Nutmeg which is like super dark and that's what I just kind of use like right here and here and along my jawline but I'm going to try and take a little bit and just lightly lightly <laughs> <laughs> Dust it because this color is way too dark for me. But we're just going to see if I can not look like a glow worm right now. See what I mean? So just a little bit of bronzer with that foundation or a shade that I use as a bronzer. And all is right in the world. That looks a little bit better, right? Yay! So this is my promise to you that I am keeping that my next video would be in my natural habitat. Today is, I don't know what today is. I think it's July 20th. It's a Tuesday, I think. <laughs> I'll put the correct date somewhere. <laughs> This is retired life. You don't know what day of the week it is. You don't know what the date is. Like, you just don't know. But I'm really excited. I don't know if you can tell. This is... Look at this! I got the saturation I wanted. This is the Natasha Denona Safari Palette. And this look is this bottom row. I know you saw the two looks I did already with the bottom row. And I kept saying this is as good as it's going to get. The colors were very muted. So what I did today was... Put on the primer, the Fenty primer. Primer. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to sweat again already. I put on the Fenty eyeshadow primer, which is the primer I always use. I like it because it's a tacky primer. And I used an angled um, Real Techniques shader brush. And I went from lightest to darkest. And I did wipe the brush off in between, even though I do have like three of these. I just love these Real Technique brushes. I put um, Lotus the first quarter of the lid then I use Amhara I put that next to that and just a little overlap to blend it and I did just um, pat it on I, d I don't swipe so I just patted it on oh the colors came out really saturated then I put Maasai next to that I patted that here and I did switch brushes from this angled brush to a smaller <laughs> angled shader brush and I use Voodoo that's look at that oh uh, And so I put that there, blended it in a little bit. Then I took, very carefully, <laughs> this tapered <laughs> crease brush. What does it say? Defining crease brush. And I, and it still, it still was a lot of kick up in the pan when I used this, this brush than when I used a regular blending brush. But when I used the angle brush, there was not a lot of kick up in the pan. So I just swiped this and, and spun it around. Well, I swiped it, turned it, swiped it, turned it. And very gently just laid it down above the crease. And so I did that on both sides. And then I took <laughs> a regular shape blending brush, dabbed it straight in, and then went and did the windshield wiper 
motion to blend out the edges of all of those other colors on my lid. Then I went back with this defining crease brush and I use, I keep wanting to say Ava, Aya or Aya. I use that directly under my brow bone, which as light as it was before, it wasn't that bright and pasty on me today. And I think because I had no eye primer up here, so it really didn't even show up. And what I did on my lid, I also did on my lower lash line. So this is that entire bottom row. I did go back and deepen up um, Voodoo, that brown, because <laughs> Tamarin, this shade here, it will like blend down and erase other colors on me because it's almost my skin tone, which makes it a good um, blending shade for me and also to tone down the color if it's too bright or too dark. So I did have to go back in with Voodoo on that same um, angled shader brush and built that back up, tapping it on into the crease and also dragging it a little bit up into the crease so that when I'm looking right at you, you can still see it here and also here. And I love it. The only thing I don't love, <laughs> I am sweating. These lights back here. Ooh. The only thing I didn't like is that it took me maybe like 15 minutes to do this look. And next time I do it, it'll be quicker. I wanted to take my time. I was very careful with the placement and also when I was using the fluffier brushes, I didn't want to get fallout. And I did receive no fallout at all from any of these shades. I can now say <laughs> I love this palette <laughs> because look at that. I got the saturation that I wanted and the trick was, which I should have known because Natasha Denona herself, if you watch any of her videos, she always places her lid colors first. The, the outer corner color first, which are always the darkest colors. And so that got me thinking, okay, if she created this and this is how she does it, I need to take some tips from her. And so that's why I did not do the crease color first like I had done in all the other videos. I, I think except maybe the last two when I used the top row or something like that. But... I'm so excited! I am so excited! Um, Fenty Brow Wiz on my brows and Fenty Gloss Balm and Hot Chocolate on my lips. And I am going to put in pictures. So this is for my face. I am in love. I am just so happy. Because you saw me before, I was like, this is as good as it's going to get. They're not going to show up. They're going to be very muted. And I was even wondering, like I do have the Soft Glam, which I have not started using the new one I have. I was looking at this thinking, let's see if I can do this without blinding you or making a mess. I was thinking that all the shades I could do with Soft Glam, I can do with the bottom two rows in the Safari palette because the tones are the same and I do get saturation from these even though they are all soft looks, which was how the Safari palette looks were looking until today. And so I am just really excited. Like this is what I wanted. So put on your lid colors first. Preferably use an angled shader brush versus Oh, these are all angled versus a flat shader brush but I am going to try my other ones other brushes later to see but I do tend to prefer still the angled one because you can press it exactly where you want it I'm going to end this video I'm babbling I am just so excited I think this looks great thanks I did already say the foundation I was using <laughs> I have the Fenty Matte Stick in Bordeaux Brat as a blush. Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder to set under my eyes and around my, my small lines, like all of this right here and on my chin. Fenty um, Powder in Honey on my face. Nutmeg here and under my chin. And then you did see me just apply it elsewhere to help my foundation be a better match right now since I am like deeply tan like this is as tan as I ever get this this is a complete full tan yeah so which I like I wish I well, let me not even say that but anyway um thanks for watching go ahead and subscribe click like 
and you will see me in the next video. Bye! A lot. I'm gonna have a lot to edit out in this video. I was just so excited because I love this look. I do. Thumbs up for keeping my promise of when I was back in my habitat. Paint on my face. Still a troll, but a cute troll nonetheless. Thumbs up for that. Subscribe, comment. If you have this palette, let me know what techniques you've used that work for you to get saturation from these colors. Thanks for watching. Why did I do that? What is that? I'm tripping. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat. You'll see me in the next video. <laughs>